Well, it has been seven years since I've walked. Let's see, September 2004, uh, Labor Day weekend, I was up on a ladder working on my house, nailing in a, um, a rake board by the roof line. Um, I was painting that side of the house and it had just come loose. Um, didn't realize there was a beehive behind the rake board. Bring it down a little bit. As you bring the bees came out. I went backwards off the ladder. Um, I woke up and I knew instantly that I was paralyzed. Well, it's called the E-Legs and it's an exoskeletal outside of the body technology that's programmed in order to help uh, people with injuries such as spinal cord injury uh, and that have very few options for walking. Right now we are working with a prototype. I've heard that the learning curve is pretty steep on this thing, so to me it's more of a challenge. You know, something, something to master. So once your foot steps, you have to come over and then get forward, and then we'll be telling you where that spot is. Okay. Now just go forward. Move the walker. The first couple passes back and forth, it felt jerky, like a machine. Towards the end, it felt... There were a couple of, couple of passes when it just felt comfortable. It works through a computer uh, algorithm, basically. About a month after I was discharged, my son was born. In the entire time he's been alive, he's only really said once, you know, Daddy, I, I wish you weren't in a wheelchair. And when he said that, like, my heart just absolutely broke. And I asked him, well, why? What, what is it that you want me to do? And he looked at me and said, you're not that good at hide and seek. I'm like, okay, if, if that's the worst you got, I can, I can live with that for now. <laughs> it's just a strange feeling. But it was neat. I mean, I'd someday love to see it something that, that could be used every day.